Greetings everyone and welcome back to Backpack Hero and to Satchel's first run. Things are a little tiny bit different from where you last left off because uh, fortunately the game doesn't allow you to save if there's anything happening in here. So I just went back to the town, saved there and we have just restarted the mission. Now then, with that, we covered what Satchel's uh, devices are, in particular the Feather Shiv and the Flute. Uh, but we will find out about Satchel's unique backpack mechanic as we go through this dungeon. A wise rabbit sits here, meditating in the midst of this dangerous place. Fear not, he says. My name is Matthew, and I have lived here for many years. With proper organization, any challenge may be overcome. Now let me assist you. Get an item set, get a relic, or get a rare item. I think I'd like a relic, actually. I hope this makes you think differently, he says. And gave us coral. Oh, okay, so uh, we are going to be able to very rapidly uh, build up some items. That's actually kind of amazing. We're going to be able to get lots of feather shivs for this run. Okay, with that, uh, do we want to go to the bramble or the crypt? Ah, let's go to the crypt. Sure. We'll head back somewhere that we've been many times before, but with a character that we've never taken there before. Now, just for those who are interested, this is going to be the last episode that I am recording in batch before my trip away. By the time that you see this episode, I will have had time to look over all of the comments on the previous episodes and felt rather silly for all of the things that you spotted that I missed or the ways that I used items that I were suboptimal, etc., etc. I will have had a stiff drink of tea, uh, and a stiff drink of tea means... Uh, tea with extra spicy ingredients involved and uh, come back to hopefully record more but do let me know if this is a series you want to see continue in the future using those lovely buttons down below and with that said and done let's go ahead and get to work now we've got a little bee over here in terms of our damage output we don't do a lot but we do have the flute this adds charm to an enemy. Now, what is charm, you might be asking? Well, let's go ahead and bring up the card. Charm. If an enemy has more charm than health, they will fight for the player. However, they will not take hits for the player. Their allies do still understand that I we have merely uh, ensorcelled their friends and will focus on us pretty much exclusively so this isn't a good way of getting meat shields but it is a good way of maximizing your damage especially for enemies that have elemental attacks now the ideal way of using this is to use it on someone who has a uh, the lower health pool again since they're not going to uh, aim at that person uh, you don't need to worry if they are at low health there we go they are now charmed uh, or rather they will be charmed uh, next turn once we do a little bit of damage this will decrease by one every time just much like every other uh, effect like that now oh, can i not place it there that's a little bit of a pain oh well all right so once we do this one more time dunk they are now on our side and are fighting for us but i am going to have to get rid of this because it is going to be a problem otherwise uh, i'm also going to have to get rid of this uh Let's have a look. When your turn ends, items behind our anchor for two combat. I really should have put that one down there, really. Thinking about it, but oh well. Uh, I guess I'm not really going to move this around, though, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Right, let's go ahead and start charming you. Now, the only problem with this is that this will decrease. So, if their health... Uh, eventually, this is lower than their health. They'll just go back to fighting on the other person's side. So, you do need to top it up every now and then. Uh, unfortunately, this is now anchored, but it can still be used as a uh, as a shield. So, I'm just going to build up my shielding there. I'm not going to be able to weather the entire storm, but that's fine. Now, when you, you've applied honey, I don't think their hazards really affect them. I don't think they're fighting the same way we are. But let's go ahead and pull them over to our side. Now they are both on our side, they will run away. Now, will we get experience for it? We do still get experience for it. That's very nice to see. Okay, select a common item to duplicate. We will, of course, duplicate the shiv. Satchel's backpack is torn. When he levels up, he can add a new space into his bag. The spaces do not need to be adjacent to the other spaces, which they do with purse. You can create disconnected shapes. Each section of blocks is called a pocket. If the blocks are adjacent, they are part of the same pocket. If they are not touching, they are part of different pockets. You can have many pockets in your backpack, and in fact, you should. Uh, let's go ahead and place... You know what? We're going to pop this one right about... Let's find a good spot for it. Here we'll do. There we go. Get items. 
this is going to go in there. Now, my feathered shivs are going to get more powerful the more different pockets they exist in. Climbing glove right for each pocket that has a space to the left. We will uh, gain a little bit of extra block there. Keys, flasks. I think we'll take the flask. If I pop that there. This will add four blocks because both of these have a space to the right. This one and that one. If I pot it up there, we will only get three. But down here, it gives us four because there are now two pockets that are adding to it. And that's about all we really need, I suppose. Well, I'll take that as well. There's not too much that we're going to be doing early on with Satchel. Right, now which one do we want to go for? Ultimately, I would like to bring you to our side. If we could manage that, it would be grand. I am going to be able to bring you over fairly easily. So we'll do that for now, but then we really need to try and focus. I don't think... Oh, well done. You picked the right target. Perfect, in fact. Now, I'm not sure, but we might be able to bring you over to my side as well. And now you're on my side. Will that count as a defeat? Because you're trying to run away. But since you're now working for me, will you run away on my behalf? I, that's going to be an interesting one. Am I going to get results i guess i did okay so satchel is all about charisma about turning your enemies away from their violent uh, course of action there we are let's continue to pull it down and there we go and you're just gonna hang tight that's fine i'll just go ahead and just stack up the charm you can go and uh, tell your friends about us all right select a common item to duplicate of course we're going to go for the knife uh, this time, well, I could add it to this backpack, but I'm not really sure I want to right now. If I did, let's see, I would not really be able to do anything with that particular space there if I popped it in that location. I could do this one, but as you can see, as long as you've got diagonal spaces, you can slot it in. Um... I guess we'll pop one up there. Done. Right now, it's more important for me to have more pockets for the shivs than anything else. Now, if I pop this over there, does it still work? It still only gives me four because they're not in alignment. We've got the dousing rod. On use creates a mass mana stone and then is destroyed. When combat ends, adds luck. We've got the loot. This is an instrument. It, only requ it doesn't require any energy. For each instrument in another pocket, plus one to charm. Uh, that's actually quite nice. I'm going to pop that over there. So that's going to give me five charm. And I can only use it one uh, once per turn, but still, it's quite nice. A tuning fork. Instruments in another pocket get plus three. Very nice indeed. So this is now doing eight. This is also doing eight. Uh, anything else we really want to pop down here? I guess we could take a guppy. It gives us a little bit of extra energy. Sure. I mean, I could bring this along for a mana stone, but I don't really see there the being much use for that one for us right now. Let's have a look at the vision. We're going to be up against an armored bear. Now then, uh, let's go ahead and bring you over to our side. And just so you stay on our side, I'm going to give you a little, little uh, clobbering. In fact, I'm going to give you a little more clobbering because your damage increases. You might... What, say that uh, that was a bit mean of me and you're right I did just attack my ally twice in the back not exactly a heroic course of action but here we are it was an effective course of action watch the end the turn there and once again we're going to level up the shiv oh perfect that is exactly the shape that we wanted we'll pop you down there and we're going to slide that down, pop you in there. This is marvellous. Now, Dungeon's Hymn. This item has a use in Haversack Hill. Okay. And also another Feather Shift. Uh, do we really want it, though? I kind of do. I'll pop it here. I mean, they're all getting bonuses from the other pockets, so that's fine. Uh, I could take one more item along with us. In fact, given that, I'm just going to grab the meal. A little bit of extra energy. This is now going to be giving us five block because of all the spaces there. Let's have a look at this event. 
Uh, read the possum again. Pray for him. You kneel to pray for him. He's opened a single eye. Nobody's ever done anything like this. You liar! I've done it several times. The tinner's hammer can be used one time each turn. Hammers two spaces away get plus two damage. On use deals ten damage. I mean, that's actually a reasonable weapon. Um, which item do I want to get rid of? I guess I'll get rid of that one. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, at this point, I want the experience more than I want the treasure. We'll get plenty of treasure in the run. What we won't be able to get a lot of is experience. Okay, another experience cluster over there. All right, first and foremost, going to take you out as quickly as I'm able to. Wallop you with this. Wallop you with that. Charm you across to us. Now let's see if we can't get you to a point where you're willing to join us. Once again, there we go, nice and easy. And you're now very much alone. I guess I'll just use the flute until I run out of energy. There we go, and as soon as they did enough damage, they caused it to uh, change sides. So as you can see, it's a very different way of playing with this character, but uh, quite a, an effective one, I think. Uh, that is a rare item, so I wouldn't have been able to use uh, my copying on that. Ooh. A goat doll. For each pocket, plus three damage. Each turn deals one damage to all enemies. Ooh. But I also have a climbing glove left. So I could have these opposite one another. I think that's better for me. But I'm definitely going to take the doll in exchange for the liquid, uh, the liquid armor. Okay, so that's doing... Uh, each turn deals 13 damage to all enemies. My lord. That is fantastic. Uh, let's see. Have I got any other items that I might want to... I could get rid of one feather shiv for another... Climbing glove right, you know, because to go on my third hand. Uh, there we go. Let's go and grab this. Okay, let's see. Get a different item of the same rarity. No thanks, not interested. Onwards. Now then, boots, another flute, or armor? Um... That is a good question don't really want any of these if I'm honest I like having the ability to add some block I think after the last <laughs> the last episode trying to go for those passive armor builds I mean it's fun but there is a point where you just have to accept that maybe it's not for you there we are you can come join us and let's just dump a load of damage into you there you go and you can join us as well enter Nice and easy. Uh, right, I think I'm going to take this for sure. And at this point, can I fit this in there? I could and effectively get rid of part of that pocket, but I can place it there as well. Right, get items, you can go there, and you can go right up there. That's marvellous, getting five and four. Uh, a hatch, if this is not in the top row, the item is disabled, but on take damage, I'll get one gold. I do have a ball hammer over here. Okay. Can be used one time each turn. Hammers two spaces away, get plus two damage. On use deals three damage currently, but let's shimmy some things around. There we are. This dude does 12 damage, this does five damage. Okay, very, very nice. Do I want this hat? Is there really any use to having it? Is there anywhere I could put it? More to the point. Um, technically, yes, because it doesn't actually need to be... It doesn't get any benefit for, for rows beneath it. It just exists. And I'll grab a key as well. There we go. Nice. All right, we've got some healing over there. I do kind of need some healing, but not enough to go for it, I don't think. We'll go for the money instead, and then go and check out the shop. Hello. What do we have here? Oh, okay. You've got some interesting ones. You've got a uh, pop stars microphone. On use, diagonal instruments are used. Oh. Now that one would be an interesting one. Very interesting one, actually. I could perhaps place it here. Uh, we've also got a sheet music. Instruments in this column get plus one. And a triangle. 
Each turn, when active, adds three charm to all enemies. On use, this item is activated. So I'd have to turn that on at the beginning of combat, and then it would just passively add three charm to all enemies at all times. Wow. I really want this, though. For obvious reasons. I think I'm going to take it. We're going to have that one in there, and I'm going to move some things around. There we go. This should activate that one. Uh, does it have to be diagonally? Oh, they can't be in separate pockets. Right. That does change things a bit. I can make this work. But I think I'm going to have to position my hammers in a different pocket then. Shimmy you up there. They're not quite close enough. Um, hmm. Is there anywhere else that has that kind of positioning for me? Oh, uh, yes, yes, it is. Right there. Okay, that still works. Make sure each pocket has a shiv in it. The hammers are in the right place. The pop star's microphone can use both of these. That can only be used one time each turn, but this one will effectively use this one for free as well. I like it. If I could also get this, it would be grand. But I don't think that's on the cards for us right now. I could perhaps get rid of this shiv. It's got a little bit of value, but not quite enough. It's a shame. Again, that would be amazing. I could sell the key. And this feather shiv. And we'll buy this. There we go. And then we can activate that. We're going full on taming build. We are going to conquer this dungeon with song. I have no idea if it'll work on a boss. be funny if it will, though. Right, okay. Actually, I should have put that over there, I suppose. Let's wallop you a bit. Let's activate the triangle. I want to get your health low. Um, I, I, I guess. <laughs> okay, so just a quick key in there. You're meant to fight that boss on multiple levels because it splits all right that boss will split into three smaller it, it it's not one bear in armor it's three younger animals wearing armor and normally once you defeat the first stage it splits into the three and then you have to fight through it but apparently if you just make it run away in the first instance you don't have to worry about it uh, okay i'm all aboard this train that that was absolutely fantastic my good lord that was glorious, truly. Um, I could go with ice cream, honestly, on this build. Uh, if I got rid of you and popped ice cream in there, we would just slowly build up. A lot of my attacks don't require me to do anything, so... Sure. That was hilariously good. All right, let's go over here. Hello, mate. Thank you ever so much. Could you... Where is it? There we are. Could you take that back for me, please? And thank you. All right, let's have a quick peek. What we got in here? Uh, nothing really that I need. I guess... I could make use of this, though. Um, is there a way that I can do that? Huh. I wonder. Will this work? No, it has to be orthogonal. That's a shame. Alright, well, I'll bring her along just in case I can find some somewhere to use it. Uh, I don't have enough gold to really do anything, so I just, I guess I'll spend a little bit. You know, you can consider that a donation. Uh, we can't go to the Enchanted Swamp, I do not believe. No. So we're gonna have to go down into the depths. But that was a ridiculously easy one. <laughs> ah, Satchel is fantastic. And again, all of the all of the playable characters have vastly different ways of playing them. Fear me, brigand! A red fox in the dark. The fox steps out of the shadows. Natural prey. He sniffs. If we battle, I shall make short work of you. Be ye friend or foe. Uh. Okay, so battling this It's an optional battle, but you can earn a quite a cool weapon. Also, it's a bit of experience. 
I think we can come back to this decision, at least if it hasn't changed from early access. I'm going to say I'm a friend. He nods and steps aside to let you pass. Your tail twitches instinctively. You're lucky he let you live. Uh, don't make me regret it. Oh, I'm, I may well do, because I want that experience. Uh, right. Okay, well, the first things first. Wow, you already took a bunch of damage from that. Uh, let's wallop you with this. Clunk. And then I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Hello. Welcome to Team Amazing. And now I just need to pull your health down a bit. Really? <laughs> well, you're going to do 10 damage and take him out. Because my ally is going to get a turn before they would. Right, given that, I would like to duplicate... Well, I mean, the hammers would be fine, but I don't think either one is a common, are they? Oh, no, that one is a common. We could duplicate that one if I really needed to. Uh, the top hat is fun and all, but I think having this to give me more passive block would be a better call. Also, talon boots for each pocket that has a space above. Uh, plus three block, and each turn adds two block. Okay, that's actually quite a nice one. I suppose it, it's acknowledging that this is a difficult setup right now. Uh, are they all called... Yeah, they're called instruments, whereas this is called a drum specifically, so I don't think it would benefit from switching that over. Still, I'll do it anyway just to see. No, I didn't. If I wanted to do this, I would have to give up having this instrument activate oh that being said no oh, but then i'd be giving up the block hmm. that would trigger it though this gives me 11 block versus the five i was getting from that i don't have the drum anymore though which is a pain so i'm going to put that back in how much does this give me? It gives me six block from that. I mean, I could always put it down there, but I don't think I will. Uh, I think we're just going to roll with this. We need another level. We're not too far away from one, though. Uh, what is up here? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was the it was the brigand. I've never spared a life before. Well, maybe I'll try not to make you regret it, then. You're making me feel guilty. Uh, let's go and check what the shop has to offer us. Ooh. The Archangel Wings. That is an amazing item. Basically, this is a three-wide item. It, well, it only takes up two spaces itself, but there's a column in between the wings. Whatever is in that column will be activated for free, but then disabled. So it can only be activated once, effectively. But if you put something in there that costs three energy, you'll just activate it every turn without spending three energy. It is absolutely wonderful, but the, this is not the right build for it. Uh, let's see. Is there anything really that I want in here? I mean, I could get another ball hammer, I suppose. I could say goodbye to that and just put the ball hammer over here. It's not like we're using this, really. Um... Now, there's nothing here that I would really want to use that on, sadly. Yeah. It's also incredibly expensive. We wouldn't be able to afford it. I don't think there's enough fights here for me to be able to get the money together to get it. Still, that was a, that was a good blow. That was a very, very nice blow. 16 damage in one hit. Uh, okay, well, come along over to my side. Are you still going to steal 11 gold off me? Um, can I say I disapprove? Would it matter if I said I disapprove? I don't think it would. Uh, let's just remove you. Right, you've already been charmed. No, you didn't steal it from me yet. Oh, do you attack everyone? Interesting. Uh, well, we can just finish you off easily enough. And, yeah, sorry, but it is the way it is. All right, we're going to double that up. Now, where are we going to slide this one in? 
Sure, let's pop that over there. I've got a lot of pockets right now, and I would like to get more items, but at this stage, we're starting to uh, accumulate our hammers, which is very, very nice. We've got a big drum. Okay, each turn when active, adds five charm to all enemies. I didn't even activate this one. I come to think of it. Uh, I guess I'll grab the food. Have any of my pockets got multiple shivs in them currently? No, okay, so we need a new shiv for that pocket as well. I'll also take the key. And I mean, there's nothing else really that I want. I guess I'll take the fire star. Oh, there is money over there, okay. Hello. Uh, okay. Well, let's... Oh, you dodged the uh, initial attack. Very lucky move. I mean, it won't really help you ultimately, but activate this. We're just going to finish you off. I'm going to say a little bit of damage, but it's nothing too terrible to worry about. I'm not even going to use the meal up, frankly. Oh, I could have used this because it's a zero, uh, zero energy item. That was my, my bad there. Uh, let's go ahead and just convert you. Really, really hard. And we'll end the turn there. A little bit of burn so you remember us. Uh, we'll get another hammer. Oh, I should have gone the shift. Uh, but still, these hammers are starting to stack in damage. In a very, very nice way. Right, we've now got a pouch. Store things inside. They can't be used, though. Open pouch. Well, well, well. I greatly approve. So we're going to be able to bring along a lot of random gubbins if we want. Okay. Close the pouch. For now. Alright, we've got a shiv in every pocket. Each shiv is now doing 13. Got the cash. We're up to 15. It wasn't enough. <sighs> Look, okay. I'm just going to try and convert them. I'm hungry. Uh, well, I am a foe. He draws his sword, slowly sizing you up. I will defeat you with friendship. And, of course, like, you know, smacking you in the face with hammers. That is also part of my strategy. Friendly hammers. Oh, my lord. Also, lots of food. Already up to 53 charm. That is kind of bonkers. But you're doing 27 hit uh, attack there. Now, I do need to pull your health down so that my charm will take effect. We're almost there now at 86. And you're just going to use uh, smoke. Great smoke plumes in spaces in this column. When you're turning end, it's destroyed. I guess I'll just put it here. That's fine. I'll take out a couple of my items, but it's not a biggie. Oh, there we are. <laughs> and, well, I'll just charm you a little bit more. There we go. End turn. There we are. Nice bit of experience. And what are we going to clone, I wonder? Uh, we're going to clone... I don't think there's really much that we want to clone right now. I guess we'll get an extra shiv. Ooh, a harp. The Welsh in me is happy. Each turn adds two charm to all enemies. Very well. I want an instrument in every pocket I can get one in, because that increases all my instruments' charm. Uh, though, honestly, I would much rather in this pocket. If, I, if only I had a single tile charm, that would be absolutely marvellous. Uh, but let's open this up. We'll grab as many items as I can, just to take them back. Uh, we'll take... This. And grab one of these as well. There you go. Okay, there we go. Now, usually when you defeat that enemy, uh, maybe it is only if you kill him, you will get uh, a... Specialist sword, but it might be part of the way that Satchel works that you don't get that right, Let's check out what's available in the store uh, We've got another try. We've actually got a gemstone heart might not be a bad call for us actually 
Uh, a flame gem as well. Uh, well, I don't really defeat enemies too much, so the flame would probably be a better call. So given that, I'm going to sell the key and I'm going to regret it later. I can almost promise you I will regret it later. Yeah, I regret it straight away. <laughs> well done, game. You are you are punishing me for my hubris. Uh, let's go ahead and grab you. I should have activated that actually instead of using that point, but oh well. Uh, and then we are going to very quickly ruin your days. Yeah. I'll just let you two off. You had the good sense to abandon your your thievy ways. I'm not going to punish you for that. I could grab one of these. Sure. And I could slide that down in there. We are sacrificing block, but honestly, most of the battles don't even get to the point where that matters. Ooh. Now you are a very interesting prospect. A very, very interesting prospect. I could sacrifice this hammer for another one of these dolls. That's huge. Is there anything else I would rather take to town? Well, no, I think the shivs are decent, though. I will bring this. If nothing else, items which are less common are better for me to take with me because they are going to get me more, uh, a better price at the store. Right, moving on to our next battle. Oh my good lord. Wow. I feel bad. Uh, this is a living shadow. A dark shadow of yourself. Doppel, get over it, really? Oh, of course, yeah, you look very different because we are a different person. I understand how stuff works. Right, let's use that. Get the most use out of all of my attacks. There we go. Uh, you know, I'll just grab that just in case. We might even get the next level. Ooh. Him of Odaria. Now, this one is definitely worth me taking. So, we're going to open the pouch straight away. And we will drop the mana gem. There we go. Uh, the luck would be nice. But there's nothing I wanted to sacrifice for it. Frank, well, maybe I can get rid of one of the ball hammers. Sure, I'll get rid of one of those. They're not really that important to me. Hello. So another doppelganger. Let's activate you. Get another bit of charm going on. Ideally get you over on our side. There we go. And now we'll just dump the rest of our damage into our doppelganger. This is really it, honestly. I, I can't imagine we're not going to be able to succeed at this point. Now, where am I going to place this? Because there is the the problem of anywhere I connect no longer is its own pocket. But you can do something like this. A tiny little pocket by itself. And we can put the shiv over there. Else we wanted. I, I mean, I could take a key, I suppose. Uh, sure, we'll go and find out what there was in that chest. Why not? And the way you do this, you just drag the key down. Uh, was there anything of use? There was not. I guess I'll just take that with me for now, then. Right, let's have a look at what we've got ahead of ourselves. Uh, spin and win. Oh, some nice items there, though. Ones that I'm not immediately familiar with. Oh my, is that grilled onion you smell? And the scent of garlic. Oh wow, you want some so bad? My friend, the mouse shouts to you, let me indulge you. Uh, no thanks. Very good, sir, he says, but please do change your mind. More food to be had. No, no, we're good. Right, two badges shouldn't be a problem. I'll just drop that on you straight away. You're going to lose health faster than you're losing charm so this should be an easy win for us at this point very much so in fact yeah we'll get another shiv 
Just slide that over there. Okay, what have we got here? A robot toy. For each connected mana stone, plus two damage. Each turn deals one damage to all enemies. I mean, that's not terribly bad. Uh, we don't really have the right build for it, or the space for it, even. Uh, the Conduit. Uh, adjacent and diagonal structures become con uh, conductive. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, for each adjacent structure, plus one block. This would be very good in a, uh, a large backpack with a very focused build on magic. Now, in turn, the way I've built this hasn't really left me with many of these little spots, but there's one more that I can use over there. Outside of that, I can expand the available space in a couple of my, my pockets around here, but... All right, moving on. We've got a chest and we've got an enemy up ahead. We... Ooh, that is a wonderful weapon, but not for us. Let's find out what you're hiding behind yourself. Uh, okay, do we want to go for the crossbow? I kind of do, actually, yes. So let's activate all of these. See if I can't bring you to my side. Indeed I can. The others are going to be a little bit more tricky to bring to my side, however. Because uh, I don't want to do too much damage, otherwise I will completely kill them. Um, there we go. And then you are just going to get everything I can dish out. At this stage, it really doesn't matter what I'm bringing in, uh, simply because I, I'm not going to be able to put it anywhere. And I very much doubt that I'm going to have an opportunity to expand my pockets any further. We are about as high level as I usually get. Maybe one in the early access, I'd get one more level before I finished a run, but this is we're quite far along now. Right, let's find out how the Badger Boss goes. The Badger Boss is a true threat. Are they, though? Can they possibly compete against the power of friendship or um, seduction? I mean, we're basically a bard. Are we trying to seduce the boss or are we trying to, to uh, befriend them? I mean, is seduction anything but spicy friendship? That is a question in and of itself. <laughs> It's already over. I'm going to try and bring your your underling to join us as well. There we go. Ah, true bardic fashion. We seduced the everyone. Marvellous. Uh, I'm not going to bother duplicating anything here. Oh, that was glorious. Right, okay, let's head on back. Uh, what am I going to give up for this, though? Um, da -da -da -da. I guess I'll just give up one of the feathers. Right, let's head back to Haversack Hill. A very successful run, I must say. Who, who am I going to? My dude, you'll never believe where I just was. That's right, I totally made it to the center of the dungeon. I know my way now. If you need me in the deepest depths, I will be there, my guy. We're totally getting to the center of this place. Look at us, being heroes and stuff. <laughs> Marvelous. All right, let's have a chat with peeps. I see the new town hall. I was about to get around to it myself, but I'm glad to see that my adoring fans built one to save my time. Make sure you build paths from the town hall to other researchers. It helps you research everything in one place. We haven't had a proper place to stay since your mother disappeared. Could you rebuild our cottage? You do seem to have plenty of stuff you could use. Okay, yeah, by all means, I'll rebuild our home. I know it's a lot to ask. You're a good daughter. Oh dear. Oh dear me, my lass. Sir Wartsley? This town, so shabby. When I heard of a cosy hamlet in Oakshire Forest, I imagined a hometown chic. Or at least countryside couture. No, this simply will not do. My eyes ache at the sparsity, the vast expanses of nothingness. You are lucky I have arrived. I am the illustrious Todrick Wartsley, and I have a vision for this town. Beautiful, thriving, yet understated. Together, my dear, we can make this happen. Allow me to offer you a new decoration at the start. Uh, okay, display items on this pedestal. Um, place this and you can show off any item you bring back. Really show them your eye as a collector. I have another gift for you. A place where we can research more accessories. A jeweler. Okay, fair enough. That's actually quite useful. With this, your backpack can be a decoration in and of itself. The price for accessorizing is not low, but the reward is high. 
I have a few more ideas for an enterprising young rat such as yourself. Continue researching and I will formalize my plans. <sighs> Bloody Todrick. Uh, Alright, well, I am going to need to build a lot of stuff, but first I need to finish this. This is an important job that I cannot leave half done. There we are. Good. Now, what are we building next? We've got the temple, the schoolhouse, the, another sawmill. I mean, we're getting a good amount of stuff now, at least when we're d delving deeply. Uh, researching new structures. Researching accessories. Uh, those are researches only, but this will generate treasure while we're though We've got a lot. Increase 10 treasure while you're in the dungeon. Research magical items here. Uh, we'll benefit from holy... Uh, okay, well, we can definitely make that happen for you. Uh, let's find a spot for that, though. Holy up here. Pop that down. Yeah, sure. Now, the temple probably also needs holy. Is there anything else I can make now? Unfortunately, it looks like I can't. Alright, well, it was important to get it done. And we'll bring this along. Connect it up. I don't need to do this, of course. I do it because I want to. Uh, really? Can I not? Oh, wow. I can't. How come I can place it all the way down there? Oh, you make me sad, game. You make me so sad. I guess they are... More... Uh woodsy areas, so... Okay, I, I can live with it. Right, let's go and do a bunch of research, though I need to find... There we are. Let's go and have a quick chat, let you know that I've done it. You built the magical mycelium! We can use it to learn more about magic in this place. I'll have to invite my friend Tote. Last I heard, she was going to the Enchanted Swamp. I'll give you her totem. That should help you find her. Okay, take her to the Enchanted Swamp. Will do. She can help us a lot. She's a real expert on this stuff, and I think she has a magical backpack, too. Wow, are we about to unlock the second playable character this fast? I am impressed. Uh, right. How much stuff have I got in my backpack right now? I don't think we've got any fish, sadly. All right, well, let's go down to the hut. Oh, I heard about the Enchanted Swamp. How do I get there? Well, we'll need lost sparks for a key. There are still more places to unlock. Well, I think I've got one. Oh, no, I don't. I'm going to need to take a quest that specifically gives us Lost Sparks. But for now, to the Town Hall. Let's have a look at what we can unlock, if anything. Right, nothing in the tavern. As for the blacksmith... Really? Is there nothing that we've got that will open that up? Okay. Uh, we can, using the uh, barracks, open this up. There we go. That also triggered that one. I'll use one of the shivs there. I don't have the means to unlock that one, sadly. Uh, shurikens would be wonderful. I need one cleaver as well. Another hammer down here. Hammer uncommon. We've now got the flame hammer. Can be used one time each turn. Hammer is two spaces away. You get plus four burn. Ooh. That's very nice. It's a two tall hammer, though, as well. Let's get that one done. Okay, we're really starting to get there now. But I think that's everything we had there. The bulletin board, uh, an instrument. I'll use the flute. Can I... Do I not have a shield with me? Oh, no, I did get rid of it, actually. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have any kind of archery options, sadly. As for our newest location, you need a... Man oh, okay, you need a spark. All right, we've got a lot of things to unlock here, but I can just use any old weapon to get closer to the uh, Warrior's Spellbook. As one mana to connected mana network, adjacent to diagonal weapons get plus two damage this combat. It's on use, so I would need to use stamina for it, but that's perfectly fine. And I think that's that, but we do have... Is that all? No, it, it is all. Okay. All right, let's go and sell our loot, of which there is now significant amounts. I do have the dungeon. I think I'm probably going to need to put that in the temple. It would be my guess. Also that one. 
Uh, that one also, uh, rather for the temple, I mean. Uh, okay, we might actually even be able to build it right away. That was a good earning, but I, I, actually, no, we're just a bit shy on the building materials. Shame. Uh, we can, however, build Percy's house, but I feel bad rebuilding that at the expense of the temple or the schoolhouse, which they've been outstanding for so long. No, I think we're going to do one more one more mission before we do that. I feel like that uh, that would be the right thing to do. Prioritizing my own family above the town. No, no, no. Uh, though, whilst I have the chance, I'm going to make that into a wider pathway. There we go. A bit more of a important thoroughfare. I would like another house down here eventually, but we don't need one right now. All right. Well, let's have a look at what we're going to do next. Uh, another run with Satchel or one with Purse? Let's have a look at what Satchel's quests are. Uh, Satchel doesn't have any interesting quests, unfortunately. So I think we're going to go with Purse or go with the ninja as always. Oh. Uh, really? Really? Let me come all the way back out. I was certain that we had a bunch of quests with Purse. Yeah, there we go. So we can do Coral 2, or we can do the Windmill, but I don't have any more Sparks. So I think it's just going to be unlocking uh, more research, really. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll go with Windmill 2. We'll get hold of the Crimson Energy. I would be okay with that. Oh, actually, no, we can get a lost spot for doing uh, Coral 2. And since we need that to get to the Enchanted Swamp, I think that's the one we're going to go for. There we go. So we've already done a run using more or less this setup. So you know what we're going to be up against. But this one will run until the second area. So it's going to be a, a little bit more expansive and more opportunity for us to create uh, more synergies with our build. I hope you're looking forward to that. And again, if you have been enjoying this series, then do let me and more importantly, St. Algorithmus know with those lovely buttons down below. But that is going to be it from me, Purse and Satchel for now. So until next time, and as always, do take care. <laughs>